the, the main issues are you have patients that ha don't have diseased lymph nodes in the mediastinum. And on average, if they are fit enough, they go to surgery, straightforward. And then you have patients with lymph nodes in the met metastinum. And to, to make it a bit simple, there are those with um, a moderate amount, a more limited amount of lymph nodes, where surgery probably plays an important role uh, plays an important role in the treatment approach. It will always be multimodality. It will incorporate chemotherapy, surgery, perhaps radiotherapy. And you have others where the lymph node disease is so important that it's no longer possible to achieve complete resections. And there you don't need to insert surgery because it doesn't help, it may actually harm. And so the whole staging process is about dividing these three types, the ones with straightforward surgery, the ones who, where surgery may play a role in the combined modality setting, and the ones where surgery doesn't play a role. Many of us now believe that the optimal imaging method is a combination of a PET-CT. And then you use your endoscopic staging first, and this will be sufficient for many patients. In case of negative findings, you should verify by a surgical method. But overall, this has really um, made the staging process uh, more um, straightforward, less invasive for the patient, and it is a substantial benefit, I think. On, I think if you give the same treatment for each, each of these individuals, you will probably uh, stay uh, with, with an, uh, a cure rate of 15% uh, in the, the more advanced uh, local uh, patients. I think if you individualize, you can put it to 25 or 30%. What I would like to see is that um, the more complex cases is that they are always discussed in a multidisciplinary board where all these disciplines are present and probably there is an advantage of people working together there in larger units where, where experience uh, is the, the real life experience on larger number of patients and I think that certainly would be a benefit for uh, the patient having a real multidisciplinary board in uh, an environment where there is large experience.